My dear citizens of Plateau State. It's not the kind of address that leaders like to make, but the violence in Plateau State has forced the Plateau State Governor, Simon Lelong, to face the cameras, to reassure residents that the government is doing all it can to bring an end to the attacks in Jos North, Basa, Riom, and Burkin Ladi local government areas. As a result of these occurrences, I convened a high-level stakeholders meeting where traditional political, community, and religious leaders gathered to brainstorm on how to bring an end to this cycle of violence. Thereafter, I held separate meetings with the leaders of Iruguelan, as well as Fulani community, to further engage them on lasting solutions to the protracted conflict within the area. The residents have not been quiet. A protest by youths last week gives an indication into the anguish families feel over the loss of their loved ones. An unfortunate reality that saddens the governor. I wish to commiserate with the entire citizens of the state over these sad developments. I particularly extend my deep condolences to the families of those who lost their loved ones, as well as those who sustained injuries and lost properties during the carnage. The ripple effects of the attacks on communities is the evacuation of students from the University of Jos and other institutions by various state governments, and top of the list are Delta, Abia, Kaduna, Kogi, Adamawa, and Lagos states. The government was excited to see that we didn't lose any of you. And the government was excited to do all it has done. And beyond the fact that you guys are here, if we look at, recollect what the peers have said, arrangements are being made so that you get to your home safe and sound. The government reassures parents of students in various institutions, especially University of Jaws, that the school managements are working to ensure their safety. Let me therefore use this opportunity to assure parents of students studying at the University of Jaws that we are working with the university authorities to ensure the safety of their wards as soon as the school reconvenes. In the same vein, I have assured the management of NYAC that government will partner with them to guarantee the safety of core members posted to the state. And following a review of the general security situation in the three local government areas where a curfew was imposed, as well as other parts of the state, the state governor makes the following pronouncements. The coffee in Just North is to be relaxed. Beginning from Monday, the 30th August 2021, the coffee shall be enforced from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. until further notice. The coffee in Just South and Bassa is to also be further relaxed, as from Monday, the 30th of August 2021, the coffee shall be enforced between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. until further notice. But it's with cautious optimism that the curfew is being relaxed as security agencies and local vigilante groups remain on the watch to stop further attacks.